Good morning and praise the Lord for this wonderful day the Lord has given us to live and experience his grace for victorious living. And so before we begin our day's activities and life, let us give ourselves a few minutes to listen to the voice of God. Remember the voice of God can be heard through his word. In the last two days, Tuesday and Thursday, we have meditated, uh, our meditation was based on the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2 verse 52, where it says, And Jesus Christ grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Our meditation's title is How to Find Favor with Both God and Men. And that's what we meditated on. We started on Tuesday and then Thursday. And this is the third for this week, Saturday. <clears throat> and in this connection, to adjust, I would like, we are, we are considering two disciplines that we must uh, develop in our lives. And uh, the first of is the discipline of uh, seeking wisdom. That was the thing that we meditated last, I mean, on Thursday. Now today we shall, discipline, uh, we shall meditate on the discipline of loving others and oneself. Loving others and oneself. How will you get along with others? How will you get along with people? There are all kinds of people, and each one is different. So how do you get along with the people around us? This will be the primary consideration of a prospective employer, for example. If you are seeking employment in some company, some office, the first concern is how will you be able to get along, along with other people in the office, your co-workers, which is a matter of concern. And many times tension build up because we are not able to see eye to eye with someone else, maybe even an officer who is above us. And so we are not able to get along well with such people. Now, it is noticed that 80% of people who lose their jobs, not because they lack knowledge or skill or ability to do the job, but from lack of, um, fr uh, from, but from lack of ability to get along with co-workers, bosses, and the customers. Some people have difficulty with everybody. And some people have difficulty at least with their bosses because some bosses are not wise either. They, their job is boss around and that bossing around will not help uh, holding everybody together uh, in love and appreciation. Now, the world is increasingly becoming self-centered and selfish. And especially as we approach the end of uh, the last days, you will find it more and more increasingly happening. And it is the world that we are surrounded with. People do not care how much we know. You know, that is the least thing. People don't care how much you know. But they care how much we care. And that is important. And uh, this lesson, this meditation therefore is, a, is a very helpful to those of you who are, are employed and you are having difficulties. Jesus associated with all kinds of people. And by his life, he influenced people to be better people. 
setting the proper example of behavior before them man is created a social being to live one with the other and remember my friends the greatest gift god has given us human race is the gift of a relationship first we have our own family and the relationship within the family is so vital and important i mean you cannot live only with gold and silver and riches and etc etc you need a family you need a relationship you need to keep your relationship and protect that gift at any cost see today people are becoming more and more selfish and self-centered and uh, emphasizing only their point of view and they expect others to follow them that will not help to keep a relationship something that is enjoyable and to advance in stature is to develop physically and jesus developed a healthy body by his disciplined life our bodies are to be instruments of our service and the temples of god there are three ingredients of a healthy body please listen all of you keep these three ingredients to live a, develop a healthy body number 1 eat proper food at proper time secondly exercise moderately and thirdly keep your body free from diseases and that means to keep yourself clean excessive eating will not help you eat only what is necessary and these are the days when especially young people they are all becoming weaker physically they get very often sick and it's all because they love junk food more than homemade food that is very unwise your family is the most important rich, uh, wealth you have and your family kitchen is the best place to cook a family food and that is the healthiest food so i pray that we shall not be losers we shall be gainers so may the lord bless you as you follow these instructions given to us and uh, keep yourself under the discipline of the lord follow the examples of jesus jesus always maintained his body and developed a very healthy body and it is important may the lord bless all of you through these meditations we will meet again next week tuesday but meanwhile may the lord and the holy spirit enable you to seek the wisdom of god and live to gain favor with god as well as with man and without the spiritual development you cannot gain it so pursuit of education wisdom and knowledge and everything if you want 
them to be fruitful in your life seek it all with the spiritual development in your life that is your relationship with the lord god's blessing be upon you holy spirit of god we need you without you we cannot but with you we can be more than we expect to be bless your people In jesus name amen god's blessing be upon you today glorify god today and let the favor of the lord be upon you amen